Hello crafters to the Pretty Pink Posh November block hop. Today I'm going to show you how you can stretch your stamps. Paulina is releasing some stamp and die sets and this is one of the stamp sets called Rainy Days and it has three different umbrella shapes. Now, I, uh, if you go to my blog, you can see that I created a card that uses the umbrella as it is intended, you know, as an umbrella. But when I was um, putting the stamp away, I suddenly had an epiphany and I was like, hey, wait, I can use those umbrellas differently. So that's what I'm doing right now. I stamped the umbrella once and now I turned my card around and I'm stamping it again. And voila, it's a butterfly. You don't believe me, but it is a butterfly. It, I promise you, it's going to be a beautiful butterfly. If you just, you know, give me a minute to show you. You'll need some masks. You can use post-it notes or masking paper um, because, well, you don't really need them. But I actually wanted to layer the butterflies. I wanted to create the effect that some of the butterflies are in the foreground and some are in the background. And for that, masking is kind of necessary. Um, and it looks like a hot mess, but when you pull this away, you can see that you have those butterflies flying up on one side of the card here. And I usually put my masks away because I intend to use them again at some point in the future. And you can color these any way you want. I decided to color each butterfly in different shades of the same color. And as I keep reminding you guys, um, don't forget, like, of course, you know, you uh, sometimes you can consider light sources and blending and shading and whatever, but most of all, you should have fun doing this. So it's completely okay to just do simple coloring as you see me do here. Use one color only in these compartments or even just maybe one color for the entire butterfly. It's completely up to you. This is not a competition. This is something that you should be doing for fun. So I decided that I wanted to have rainbow colors. So I'm just using, you know, the colors of the rainbow and putting them on my butterflies. Of course, I use Copic friendly paper, but um, it bled through to the other side, but I'm not worried about this at all. I'm simply putting some glue with my ATG gun on the inside of uh, my card. And, you know, if it didn't do it perfectly, I can just, you know, do the thing where I put the glue back into place. And I'm going along the outside edge here, um, making sure that I'm really going up to the edge because I'm grabbing, going to grab a piece of um, a white cardstock that is the same cardstock that I'm using for the card base here, placing that inside very precisely. And then I'm going to close my note card. And what that will do is it will simply add this piece of white cardstock to the inside of the front of my card and the recipient will not know, well, maybe if he or she looks really closely, but otherwise they will not know that I did this. So it's a one layer copy colored card. Surprise! Yeah, I like to do that. Um, of course, the butterflies were not quite done. So I'm grabbing a black gel pen here and drawing in the bodies. And um, my black gel pen remains wet for quite some time. That's why I'm using a piece of scratch paper here to cover up the parts that I had already done because I was afraid of smudging them. Ask me how I know. It's not the first time that I did this card. The first time was a complete mess. Yep, that's how I know. And of course, I then had to grab my white gel pen and add some dots on the butterflies themselves. Um, you've seen me do this a lot of times. Uh, I usually like to do like three bigger dots and then fill the space with smaller dots. And of course, on these darker colors, it looks even better than on the lighter colors. You can totally skip this step. Um, this is not something that you have to do. I just find it adds a little bit more interest to the shapes and to the card. Then the sentiment, I was stamping it with uh, VersaFine black ink. It's a very rich, deep black ink. I really like it for sentiments. And this is a sentiment from the Rainy Days stamp set that says, wishing you sunny days. And I just love the font. It's absolutely gorgeous. Since this is a card for Pretty Pink Posh, of course, I had to use some Pretty Pink Posh sequins here. I'm using some in the 4mm size and in the 6mm size and then the new droplets that were released last month. You can check the video description below for all the products that I have used or hop on over to my blog and see all the products that I've used there and some stills of this card. I'm using glossy accents with a fine tip applicator to glue down the sequins and the droplets. And then I decided to grab my black gel pen again and add a few dots around the sequins that I had glued to the card. Um, don't ask me why, I just felt it would add a little bit more contrast and interest to the card. Again, this is not something that you have to do, but if you're brave enough, I mean, the project is finished, but if you're brave enough to, to try it, just give it a try. 
I find it usually adds quite a bit to the project. I'm oftentimes quite surprised how much more I like it afterwards. And you can see me doing the same thing again here, adding three larger dots and then filling the space with some smaller dots, just trying to make it look random. Here's a close-up of my butterflies that I created from the umbrellas with the white gel dots that I added and the body that I drew in myself. And here's a close-up of the entire card, and I'm really happy how it turned out. It looks just so bright and cheerful, and you would never know that those wings were made from umbrellas. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hop over to my blog um, to see where the blog hop continues, and I'll catch you again soon. Bye-bye!